I don't have access to propofol myself. I'm a board certified cardiologist, I'm international cardiologist. I have uh, authority to write uh, pain medication, control substance. I can write prescription on anything I want, but not on propofol. So that tell you how difficult access to this medication is. Well, this is the normal setup in a hospital situation where, or ambulatory care situation where you have a patient lying um, and have a oxygen hookup for sure. And then um, we are checking all the vitals and uh, blood pressure, the heart rate, and make sure the, all the oxygen is available here uh, in case the patient need oxygen. Uh, then and after reviewing the medical history, then we go for the medication, we explain to the patient, and usually we give them a very, very short period of time. Like the procedure I do, we give them Diprovan only for five minutes at the most, or maybe less. The anesthesiologist is standing next to the patient all the time. So I may be coming out or coming in, but anesthesiologist through the entire duration is with patient. He's constantly monitoring, his eyes rolling from different views, from looking at the monitor, look at the patient, uh, look at the viral. So he's, he's there constantly all the time until patient regain consciousness and become awake. So it's not that the doc anesthesiologist alone there, there's a whole team of people who can support anesthesiologist are right there in, in a fraction of second uh, request to get help. So this is, this is a setting where you can get anything you want to support the patient in case the patient have a problem or stop breathing and is not regaining consciousness. The, the whole team will show up in, in, in within, within a minute or so and then, then you have all the help you need. No matter how much you want to do or how much money you want to spend, there's no way logistically that you can arrange all of that outside the hospital. It's just not going to happen. If assume he has given a medication, although we don't know for sure anything, uh, he, he's, he's done. Um, because the way he, anybody is not supposed to give medication and you're giving a wrong medication uh, or non-prescribed medication, the state board will take your license away from, from you. There's no other choice. Um, plus the criminal charges you're going through. Um, but cardiologists like me never ever dreamed to give this medication to anybody.